another MUA. All right, so I'm back now doing videos. I know I've been away for a while, just taking a personal break. Plus, I was going through some computer issues, some camera issues. Any issues that could arise were happening all at once. So I decided just to go ahead and take a break. Of course, you know I've been posting on my Instagram and Facebook um, makeup looks. But now I want to start back doing videos. I'm going to try to do a video once a week. I'm going to try to keep up with, with that or maybe once every two weeks. But I am going to get back to doing more videos for you guys. And um, for this look today, it's pretty much just a simple look. Um, pretty much using my two Lorac Pro palettes. The Pro, I guess it's Pro 2 and the original one right here. So I'm super duper loving these two palettes right here when used together. It's one of my uh, go-to palettes that I've been using lately. On my lips, I'm wearing Max Peach Stock Lipstick right here, which is the peachy nude color. And I lined it up with my NYX lip liner, and this is in brown. And you can purchase this from Ulta. As you guys know, I love my NYX lip liners. They're the bomb.com. And also, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Really, really easy look. Nothing too crazy. Um, I also use my Milani. I don't know what we want to call these foil. It's fierce foil quads right here. So I bought one of them. And I'm kind of a little on the fence about it. I mean, it's good for putting on top of a, another color. As far as use by itself, I'm not too happy about it. But I'm just going to buy one. I'm not going to buy all four because they were like 10 bucks a piece. And I don't know if it's worth buying all of them. So I did buy this purple one right here. This one is in Rome. And so I'm okay with it. It does give my look a little bit of sparkle, which I put on the bottom of my waterline area. So it's okay, but as far as use by itself, it's a little it's a little hard to work with. I don't think I would use it on my whole mobile lid. Definitely as an accent color would be great. And also I have a review on this wig unit right here that I purchased from, I think it was ebonyonline.com. Um, I do have a review on this one, and this is a long wig, and um, I think it's about 24, 24 inches, but I'll go in depth on this unit right here, which I'm super duper loving. Alright, well stay tuned for this tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to thumbs up for more videos.